Yeah, I can yeah. Hey guys, it's me. You haven't seen a lot of me. It's because I've been gone for three weeks, but trust me, trust me, I'm back, okay? Listen, listen, I was on the bench, right? I got benched from the game, okay? Week three, we're in week three now. Listen, I came out like, let's give him a chance. Let's see what he can bring to the team, you know? So listen, right now what I'm doing, I'm throwing, I am throwing beamers, right? I'm throwing 90 yard, you know, I'm getting touchdowns left and right. Listen, we are back. We are going to the playoffs. We are going to win the Super Bowl. That's right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Just like, do your thing. Listen, listen guys. Like I said before, we were on the bench, but now we're getting playtime, okay? Even though it might not be enough playtime right now, okay? First day back, first day off the bench, first day on the field, you know? We are gonna make coach realize that we are a valuable player, okay? Listen, we go from the bench, then we go from, you know, subs, but then we go to, we're first in, right? We're on field, as soon as the game starts, right? This is improvement, okay? So, listen, we're gonna start be throwing boomers. Boom, right down the field, ooh, ooh, blocking a couple, boom, running touchdown. Listen, I don't know why the fuck the San Francisco 49ers are first in the NFL right now. Personally, I think that's bullshit. Personally, I think the Browns should be ranked higher too, but hey, I'm not gonna get political on here because I know some of you guys agree with these rankings, okay? Detroit Lions being six, that don't make any fucking sense, okay? The worst team in the NFL last year, but hey. Listen, I'm just going on right now. Listen, yeah, that's you know what I'm talking about. So it doesn't really make any sense. 32 is the Cardinals. I don't know. That doesn't really make any sense to me because the Texans are actually. I mean, like maybe they'll come back this year. Maybe we can actually see some good playership. But who knows? Right now, I think that the Texans definitely need to be ranked a little lower. Uh, personally, how I feel about the Aaron Rodgers incident is I feel sad for him. I mean, 75 seconds in the game, it's just it's just heartbreaking. You know, um, you know he gets in, he does one drive, and then boom on that first uh, first throw, boom, he tears it. He tears his ACL. It's out. He's out. I mean. Personally, I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, maybe his career's over, but first game with the Jets, first game with the Jets, first game in, uh, nonetheless, 75 seconds, I don't know. I don't know if you can come back from that, personally, especially as you're out for the season. I don't think that you can come back from that. I mean, he had a good legacy, you know? He had some good times, you know? Clips all around bar stools in the NFL, but, like, I think Aaron Rodgers is definitely getting out of the field, okay? Personally, you know what I'm thinking? Though, Dolphins, ranked five. You know, I'm honestly thinking that they can make a comeback because Dolphins actually are doing solid performance right now. You know, Tua throwing three passing touchdowns in the last game, 466 passing yards. That is crazy. Okay, listen. They're going to go. Down. Listen, if they yeah, can keep like Wes, I'm gonna beat you up. Listen, if they can keep up the same <laughs> momentum, no same aggressiveness, Tua throwing those balls, especially with Tyreek Hill as a receiver, they are definitely going to the championship. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what I is, what is okay. blood waffling about? Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Actually, no. Let's waffle some more. I mean, let's yap some more because, like, you know, we got all the time in the world to yap right now. I disagree. So you see this kid right here is named Wes, sophomore, okay? He takes really hard classes. I appreciate this guy. You know, I appreciate him a lot, you know? I envy him almost because he takes such hard classes as a sophomore. Man, you are, you are who I look up to. I mean, but personally, I just showed a sheep, you know? Sheep from Minecraft. You know, Minecraft, it's a great game, you know? It came out in 2012, I think, 2011 beta. It was pretty crazy, you know? A game about blocks, you're placing, you're placing blocks, you're getting the wood, getting the diamonds, you know, you're finding here, Brian, you know? Minecraft is definitely a game. It is a game of all time, and I really think that people should immerse themselves, immerse themselves with Minecraft, because I feel like if you just play for a little bit, you're gonna get definitely, you're gonna like the game. Personally, I don't like the fate, uh, I don't like the steps that uh, Mojang is taking, you know? They're coming out with these big updates, talking about big, add in a couple blocks, add in a couple mobs. You know, I don't really like that personally. I think that they're just adding these uh, useless items, you know, like, oh my gosh, great, I can add another block to my house. Like, I don't think that's really going to preserve the longevity of Minecraft. I really think that Mojang needs to take it in another direction if they really want to preserve their game because right now it's going in a bad place. I'm not going to lie, it's going in a bad place. And uh, I really. Yeah, it's, it's really, they're adding so much stuff, you know, it, they added these things, but no ends to them. And it's really getting annoying because I really love Minecraft, but they're not. Not adding the updates. You know what a game that is coming up though? Starfield. I think everyone's heard about Starfield and everyone's like, oh my gosh. Start, shut up. Everyone, the new Bethesda game, everyone's like crazy. You can go and explore your planets, right? But also, people are comparing it to No Man's Sky, and I think like that's a valid thing to do. But also, I don't think it's a valid thing to do because this game is by Bethesda. We know Bethesda for Fallout games, you know? Skyrim. It's crazy. We don't know all of them for those games. So I'm really hoping that Starfield is going to be the next big player, you know? But also, you know, another big player? Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That game was oh, yeah. a masterpiece. Whoa. Okay, listen, you're in the sky, you're underground, you're on base level. Listen, you're doing everything, okay? You're going to the Gorons, okay? You're going to the... the uh, spoilers. 
<laughs> what? You just spoiled the entire game for me. There's Gorons in it? God, I can't buy it now. <laughs> chill, chill, okay. Gorons were in other games, okay? Like Ocarina of Time, you could go there, look at the- Actually, no, Majora's Mask. You could go there, look at the Gorons, okay? Gorons have been all in the game. You know? The re- the re- the bird people! Bird people! Right? In Wind Waker, okay? I forgot their name. Bird people. Rito? Rito. Right, Rito. Right, Rito's village. You go to that place. Rito. Right, bird people. Okay? The other people. The Zora, the fish people. You know, we all love them. Okay? And then the... the Zoras are the fish people. Gorons. No, the morons. No. Gorons. Gorons. Yeah, Gorons. You know, they be in the volcanoes. You know, personally, I really like the Goron storyline. But in the first game, it was definitely a little annoying because the guy that you were getting the quest from, he was leading you on this quest, very annoying. I did not like his voice. You know who I do like, though? Sidon. Sidon is a very reputable character, okay? And he is great, you know? He's just that guy. He's got that... You know, that is just so memorable. It's just engraved in your brain. And every time you hear that teeth click, you're just like, hey, that's my man Zora. I'm in Sidon. Right? So, uh, let's think about it. Uh, Breath, of, Breath of the Wild. You know, we had the, uh, the, 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 the other technology, right? The things. The things, right? The Guardians. The Guardians. The Guardians, their soundtrack was scary, you know, and just strike fear into you when you actually heard them. So, what I think about Tears of the Kingdom is that they should bring that back, okay? They already said there isn't going to be a Tears of the Kingdom DLC, and I'm pretty disappointed in that because I feel like there's so much they could add on. Another DLC that's coming out, Shadow of the Archery, guys. Elden Ring, you know, game Woo! of the year 2020. It was a great game, you know, there is so much to do, so much to find. You know, you could do this, you could do that. There is no direction you need to take in this game, and that's what I really love about Elden Ring. I do think that it did deserve to win game of the year 2022, but also people do think that God of War deserve, God of War Ragnarok deserved game of the year 2022, and personally I have to disagree because I think Elden Ring it put in the time, it was a years in the making, <coughs> it got announced in 2018 at, um, <coughs> <laughs> at E3. The gap fest is still going on, so listen. <laughs> so listen, let's be real here. If we're thinking about it, Elden Ring has so much building up to it, and God of War did too. But let's be real. God of War already won uh, Game of the Year 2018. Did you drink all your water? Yes, ma'am. So basically, according to the And it won the Game of the Year 2018. And obviously, yeah, it's got it's got some potential to win Game of the Year 2022. But no, it doesn't. Because Elden Ring had so much to do in it, okay? You've got different quest lines. You've got six different endings. You can do this, you can do that. There was so much to find. Weapons, armors, quests. You can do all of it. You can do all of it. It doesn't even matter. But God of War Ragnarok, it is sending you in this linear path that you have to follow. There isn't much... Um, <laughs> there isn't much to for choice and anything like that, right? And while Elden Ring did have a bit of a multiplayer, um, I mean, it wasn't really a big multiplayer. Um, you can invade other people's islands, you can help your friends out with bosses and stuff. I do feel like that was very important to connect with your friends to help them on a tough boss, okay? That's what God of War Ragnarok didn't have. No multiplayer. And I guess, yeah, we like the single player games, but come on. In a world where multiplayer games are getting more popular, single player games are definitely getting run out of the, run out of the mill. So you know what I think God of War Ragnarok needed to do? Maybe add a little bit of a co-op, okay? I'm not gonna lie, definitely a controversial decision. But hey, let's be real here. Another great co-op game that you guys should play? I don't know, actually. I don't really know where I was going with that. But co-op games are definitely great. But I feel like multiplayer games with wide multiplayer is definitely getting run out. Another multiplayer game that failed, Battlefield 2042. That game was so hyped up. And obviously, yeah, it looks good from a perspective standpoint. But let's be real here. The game is filled with bugs. It's filled with these characters that have useless abilities. Like, I'm not going to jump into a game and I'm going to be like, oh my god, look at all these characters. But they all have these shit abilities. Like, personally, I think that was the downfall. And also, the Battle Pass, okay? Every game is adding a Battle Pass. It started with Fortnite, then we're getting Kim all these Kim different Kim games. What? I don't know what that is. Battlefield 40, 2042? Battlefield 2042? Anyway, so that game has littered with bugs, okay? But let's be real here. The map may be big, you may be getting with all these other players, but let's be real. The gameplay experience is not good from a perspective standpoint, okay? I'm not gonna load in and do this walk fest to other enemy players, shooting them, and I die. I gotta respawn back there, and then I'm gonna walk again, okay? That's not, I'm not playing walking simulator, alright guys? You know what another great game is though? Battlefield 1. That game may be set in World War 1, and obviously it is a controversial to say it's the best battlefield. Personally, I do feel like it's the best battlefield though, because you are in 
in World War One, you see the horrors of warfare. It is a beautiful game. It's designed. The stories may be short. Why would you want to play a game in World War One? The entire thing just consists of you hide in a trench. You hopefully don't die while you're in the trench, and you run like an idiot across no man's land and get shot and you die. This is why you have no opinion. Anyways, let's continue on, guys. So Battlefield One was arguably the best Battlefield, and I know people are going to disagree with me on that. They're going to say Battlefield Five or Battlefield Four, but let's be real here. Battlefield One has it. It has perfect maps. Okay, it has the perfect player base. It has perfect weapons. Everything is balanced. Okay, even though some things are just a little bit rough. Okay, let's not lie. The story may be a little bit short, but it's beautiful. That story will inspire you. It will bring joy into your heart. Traveling against these different stories in World War One. Okay, we're going from Italy. We're going from Egypt. Okay, we're going all over these other places, and we're seeing the stories of people. And obviously, it's not always good. And one of the stories in Italy, his brother dies. It's not always happy, and that gives you a real perspective on war. Okay, so let's. Just take in what we feel here, okay? So we're seeing that his brother is dying. This is the real reality of warfare, okay? It's not always happy. You're not always going to be the soldier, okay? You're not always going to be the honorable soldier. You're always going to see this bloodshed and gruesome, okay? That's it for today's Aiden Yap Fest. Thank you. I love you. Aiden! We're about to go into force to get some sticks for uh, Blood Through. So personally, let me be real here. Ma uh, Wes is bringing the Battles family, and personally, I think that's a interesting decision. Because obviously, when we're going to a dark, scary forest, you're going to be a little nervous, okay? You want something to defend yourself. But also, this is a high school forest. There's not going to be some killer clown type shit out there. Yeah, so let's that's be why we need this. No, 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 no. There isn't going to be some killer clown type shit out there. So let's be real here. Oh, geez, it's hot. <laughs> so it is a little bit hot out here. And you know, that's personally a big issue for me. Because when I'm coming into fall, and I'm thinking about the pumpkin spice deliciousness, and I'm thinking about that nice fall breeze, and I come out to this shit, I'm sweating, I'm I'm, the fucking sun is in my eyes. I'm blind. I can't see. This is not the fall I'm thinking of, okay? It's about mid-September right now, and if it doesn't change before end of I September, like I think I might be really mad because I when I'm going to when I'm going to Starbucks and I'm getting I that pumpkin spice latte, I'm thinking, wow, I'm about to be nice. I'm about to be in the nice, nice, cold, dry fall. You know, we got the nice leaves, but I don't see any of that shit. They okay? should not be in the front. I'm I not gonna lie to you. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because I'm seeing this shit. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Okay, guys, so we're gonna continue the yap. We're gonna. We're gonna continue the gap best because we don't suffer nothing, okay? Oh, wait. Oh, no, the park's not on that field. We'll be fine. We just gotta walk here. We'll go to that forest right there. We're gonna grab some sticks, okay? But let's be real here. When we are going to. Guys, come on. When we're getting our pumpkin spice latte, let's be real because we want a ni that nice fall breeze. But when I'm coming out to this hot ass shit, I'm getting it's blinded by these clouds. Do you want me to film in so I can walk backwards? You know, I got it's it. It's just a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then, you know what else is annoying? That new drink at Starbucks. That shit tastes like booty water. I cannot lie to you. When I had that shit for the first time, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get that nice scent of apple crisp in my mouth. You know, because I love an apple spice donut. But when I eat, th when I took a sip of that shit, I was like, wow, this shit tastes like apple. Yes. <laughs> and you know, personally, I'm a little mad. I spent about five dollars on a small drink because you know I just want to try. I get a little taste for it before I buy a buy a big ass large cup, and I'm like, wow, this tastes like absolute shit. Okay, so let me tell you some anyway. suggestion. Do not get that new apple spice crisp shit at Starbucks. Okay, it's gonna taste like ass, and you're gonna regret spending stuff? your money. So also another thing about Starbucks. How do we okay? get into the woods? Why did they redo the apple spice? There's a hole in the kitchen. Okay. okay, so anyways, next thing about apple spice. I love me some apple spice. I got an apple spice candle from Bath and Body Works. That shit smells so good. But when you're putting into a drink, you gotta be careful, okay? Because there's many ways you can mess up the flavor. But when I drank that shit, I was like, wow, this shit actually tastes like some fucking toilet water. So let me tell you something. Don't get that shit. Stick to your roots. Get the pumpkin spice latte. That's enough for Aiden's Yap Fest. Thank you. Bless you. Love you. Oh. Okay, um. That might be a problem. I'm going in. Um. No, no, no. I, Cedar, we need branches. I see two branches. Little sticks should be helpful too. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> climb the fence. Where in Canada? Because Canada is kind of a big place. Oh, no, it's actually well, not even right here. Canada is pretty it's wide Niagara space, Niagara. okay? You know, it's got a big yeah. country. I've been to Canada. So I've been, been to Canada. I've been to Canada. 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 Personally, I wanted to go to Canada, but Canada, Canadian wildfires are just killing it for me. Oxygen levels are terrible, okay? If I'm going there, I might get a crib. I might get reduced. So, the, personally, I don't feel like that was nice, okay? Because abuse is not nice. Look at this. And I'm interrupting my shot, okay? Let's be for real here. Popularity is a big thing, okay? But when someone tries to infringe on that, it's just a big thing, okay? Kiki was trying to hit me with a stick. How do we feel about that? Their company is called Greaves. They do. Wait, what jam do you eat here? 
E here, okay, US. Let's keep it local for a minute because you know. Uh, like if you had to bake a, if you had to bake a cheesecake right now, what would you put on it? If I had to bake a cheesecake, well, let's keep it like yeah. right now and in the moment, you okay? You don't have those four jars at home. What are you putting okay. on that cheesecake? Uh, probably the apricot. 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 Okay. apricot jam. I have the best cool. apricot yeah. jam in London. Okay. So uh, the reason I like apricot, I'm not ignoring you. The reason I like apricot on cheesecake is because cheesecakes are already naturally pretty sweet and yeah. like also like very creamy. Apricot is this nice mix of not too not too sweet, just a little sour enough too. Like there's a little bit of bitterness in apricot. That's just such a perfect topping. Uh, Thank you. Because like I love strawberry jam, I do, but it's so sweet. I've, so sweet. I've, I've can't have it. Can't have it. Really? Can't have it. Yeah. It's cheesecake kill your dad. <laughs> yeah, personally, because I feel like cheesecake is just a rough <laughs> subject to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> cheesecake just ain't it. I know cheesecake right. ain't it because first of all, cheesecake backwards. Okay, okay well, can like the Christmas tree from Charlie Brown. It does. Fuck this tree, dude. We did it. <laughs> Yay! So, Chris, I want to talk to you a little bit more. Let's yap a little more, okay? Because if we are going off of the basis of cheesecake, let's just expand our palates a little bit, okay? Because we got all types of regular cake, okay? We got chocolate cake. We got red velvet cake. We got vanilla cake. You know? Red velvet cake is it's just chocolate velvet cake. cake when you actually make it right. That is very true. Otherwise, How do you feel about that? Can you tell me about that? Do you like red velvet cake? I hate that people call red velvet cake red velvet cake when they're actually not even using what makes red velvet cake red velvet cake. Which but do you like cheese? It? It's more than just cream cheese. It is a different kind of flour entirely. Is it really? Yes, yeah. what it is. What kind of flour? <sighs> I started. No, actually, what kind of flour? <laughs> you gotta and let me know. You, you gotta fill me in. It is, you have to use 100% Where's cake flour oh. for a red velvet cake. So it's just thick cake. It's not, no, it's not thick, it's lighter cake. So it's flour. just light cake. This is my bag of Coke. But, it is but the so Coca-Cola company is going on strike. Cake? And I like, might not be able I to get Diet Coke cake. for a while, and so I'm angry. really well, devastated. That's why I serve you red velvet cake mix. I literally just like, like, if I get a red velvet cake from some random person, I don't mean this any offense to you guys. If you serve me red velvet cake, the first thing I would do is I'm gonna scrape up the, the frosting and just eat the cake by itself, and then I'm gonna judge you. You're so real for that. And that's why we'll never. I was a baker. I was a baker for two years. Two years. Two years. Well, let's think, let's, let's, let's just think about it for a minute because two years is a very long time to be a baker, okay? Because we got 24 months. We got 365 days, okay? That is about 700 something days, okay? Oh, whoa, whoa, we're getting massive levels of stupid. <laughs> Okay, but let's be real here, because stupid is just like a term, okay? Stupid is for what the haters call you, okay? Because personally, I am stupid, okay? I will admit it, okay? I've done some stupid things in my life. I stuck a knife in a toaster once, okay? But let's be for real here. We grow. The stupidness is down here, but we can grow, okay? That is what that growth mindset is. Growth mindset by Coach Chris, okay? He taught me this on the first day of AP Physics, okay? AP Physics. Listen, 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 listen. You're going to want to take it, okay? Personally, it's a hard class. I won't lie to you, but it's a puzzle. You're putting it in the moment, and you're putting it like a puzzle, okay? You solve the puzzle, you get the answer. You solve for the variable okay it's pretty solid okay i can't lie to you grass if you like grass take it okay i mean we're only about three weeks into the thing and we already got grass we got position time grass velocity time grass or acceleration time grass you got grass how do you feel about the fq tomorrow uh how do i feel about the fq tomorrow um i'm not feeling too great about it i'm gonna be honest with you kinematics it's pretty fun i really like it but i'm having trouble solving that second equation okay first equation got it down velocity final minus velocity velocity initial plus acceleration times time easy i got that you know third equation can't say it off the top of my head but i do love it okay it's pretty so easy to this all for, but second equation, it's where it comes in because there is two time variables in that equation. No, obviously, if there's a zero in that equation, it's pretty easy to solve for because zero cancels out anything, okay? Anything times zero is zero. So, personally, what are you when talking about? AP physics. AP, I don't take AP physics. That's right. Okay, so we're going to just do this. Listen, if it has a zero in for the variable, it's going to be easy because zero times zero. I mean, I love that cereal. Zero? Zero times anything is zero. Let's talk about zero. Best cereal? Best, toast crunch. Best you year. are see, so wrong. See, that's oh, a oh, You eat cannibals. How dare you eat DJ Khaled like that? <laughs> Call me Cinnamon, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Crunch. Let's talk about DJ Crowell for a minute, okay? He was kind of just gone for a little while. Dude, gone. Most of the entire of my life, okay? I have never heard about DJ Khaled in my entire life. But then, little, but then okay. let's go golfing, right? So let's bring it out for a minute, okay? So when I was searching up on the internet, I found these DJ Khaled videos. You're like, let's go golfing. Let's go swimming. Let's bring the yacht out. All these different types of catchphrases. And personally, I see the hype in it. It's just, 
You know I'm a Diet Coke girl. That's what so my cup is called. Coca Cola. What do you think? Coca Cola. We love Coca Cola. We love everything about it. Okay, but then they have the Ryder. Uh, Pepsi. Okay, now we're going to the different. No, Doctor Pepper is its own thing. Because we have Doctor Pepper. Why is that like a I thought Dr. Yeah, Pepper Dr. was its own Pepper. thing. I'm not going to be like, get out of my face. Pepsi. I'll take it, okay? Well, it's Pepsi okay. Like, aren't that different. It's, it's honestly like there isn't that big of a difference. But personally, I guess people see the difference in it because it's uh, one or the other, you know? One part of my family loves Pepsi, one part of my family loves Coca-Cola. They don't intertwine, okay? You want to know why? Because when you go to their house, open up the fridge, and you see Pepsi, you're like, fuck no, I'm not drinking this shit. So, let's be real here for a minute. What makes it so different? Well, personally, I see the difference in people preferencing diet or regular Coke, okay? There definitely is a difference in that diet Pepsi versus regular Pepsi, okay? Okay? But personally, I don't know what the difference is. Because when I drink it, you know, there's that subtle, nice difference in that aftertaste. But personally, I like the aftertaste in Coca-Cola more. Personally, I don't drink diet drinks. Why? Because it tastes like shit. I don't like the aftertaste. Maybe it's more bad for me because of all the sugar and the regular Coke. But let's be real here. What's the difference between Coke Zero and Diet Coke? Personally, I don't get that, okay? Personally, they taste the exact same to me, and it doesn't really make any sense. Also, zero. Zero multiplied by anything is zero. Let's go back to AP Physics for a minute, okay? We love it. Okay, I love it. Personally, Coach Christ is so awake in the morning. And shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. So when we're doing the equations, you put them on the board. I'm getting them down. I'm writing them down like this, 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 this. It's easy. It's pretty light. But when these FQs come out, I get a little nervous. I can't lie. These nerves, he's slapping a paper in front of me. He's telling me to do this. You've got a time limit. Shit gets me a little nervous. I can't lie to you. But when we go through, check it, and he tells me what I did wrong. Hey, it's nice. Because personally, growth mindset, most important thing. Again, back to being stupid, okay? You can always grow from being stupid. Growth mindset. You were start here, you grew, you're here. You grew more, you're here. Listen, growth mindset, that's what's most important about. You need to grow as a person, okay? Let's talk about people for a minute, okay? Purple, the people. There's a vast variety of people in this world, okay? Everyone's different, okay? Let's be real. Everyone's different. Everyone comes from a different background. Everyone's got a different story. That's what I love about the earth, okay? We're all the same, okay? We all are humans, okay? Let's talk about something else. Humans. Health class. Personally, I really loved health class with Coach Spadafore. I mean, he was a great guy, but I can't lie to you. His class was easy. He didn't really care. He showed us weird fucking videos on the uh, monitor. Personally, I didn't like that, okay? He uh, showed us a child giving birth, or a mom giving birth. That was pretty fucking weird. I can't lie to you. I don't think he does that anymore because I think he got in trouble by the principal. Let's not fringe on that moment, okay? Personally, he's a great guy. I love him. He's really only here to coach lacrosse. Let's be real here for a minute. If a coach, if a, a teacher is coming into the building and she's saying, yes, let's coach health, She's doing something wrong, okay? You go to teacher school for how many years and you're like, let's coach health. Let's teach kids about the penis and vagina. No, personally, I'm not doing that, okay? I am doing a higher level of thinking. Let's be real here. Weather. Let's talk about the weather for a minute. Because meteorology is a vast expanse of things, okay, guys? So personally, if you are going into meteorology, you have my envy because in meteorology... It's probably cloudy out here. You know, weather has so many different things. Snow, rain, fog. It's all different matters of particles and stuff. Particles, chemistry, cosmos, and water. He taught me all about particles. Particle gram, particle diagrams. It was crazy, okay? Personally, because I love Mr. Orderman. Mr. Orderman's class was pretty crazy. Hey, Jackson, how's it going, bud? Particle diagrams were crazy. Mr. Orderman's class was crazy. He was a great guy. I can't lie to you. If you ever get Mr. Orderman for chemistry, you are going to love him. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're going to love him because he is a great teacher. Great teachers. Let's talk about Swank. Swank, I be English. Best teacher, I think. I've ever had for English, okay? She is a godsend, you know? She's coming into class. She's excited to learn. She's excited to teach us, most of all. And I think that's very, very, very important for a teacher, okay? you got to come in the class excited. you got to come in ready to learn, ready to teach, okay? Because teachers don't know everything. That's what I think all students don't really realize. Teachers don't know everything. And they are going to make mistakes, but they can learn from those mistakes. And I think that's the most important thing that we need to learn in our lives, okay? That everybody makes mistakes. Let's talk about that for a minute. Making mistakes, okay? People may tell you that making mistakes is bad, but it's not. Because with those mistakes, Failure, you can grow. If you don't take risks, how are you ever going to know you made it, okay? So, taking risks is better than not taking risks, okay? You want to take a risk? You want to do it? Do it. Because you're going to learn from that mistake, okay? Risks. Risks are valuable and important in life. Test, shut up. Anyways, we love risks, okay? We always got to take a risk if we're going to grow in life, okay? Let's talk about that. Growing. Plants. Listen, we love plants. Fall plants are coming around the uh, corner. We got cranberries. We got pumpkins. We got corn. Thanksgiving. You know, I think everyone loves Thanksgiving. Personally, I think it's one of those holidays that's just really, really, really undermined it, okay? Underrated. Personally, I'm going to go to my grandparents' house. I'm going to eat a nice big Thanksgiving feast. You know, we got the turkey. We got the cranberry cranberry sauce. We got everything. We got casserole, dude. It's everything, okay? It's one big plate of food on a big table. But let's be real here. Food is better in Christmas. And you may be asking, Aiden, there's no food in Christmas. Yes, there is. If you're saying there's no food in Christmas, you are told to be lying to yourself, okay? Christmas cookies. Cookies. Back to cookies. Let's be real here. Christmas cookies are definitely the most delicious thing in this world. So let's be real here. Okay. 
Oh, and Christmas get cookies. Your unscented dick over here right now. Christmas cookies are definitely the most exciting thing in this world. Let's be real here. Christmas cookies. You go bake Christmas cookies with your grandma. You go bake them with your dad. You'll bake them with your family. Let's be real here. We love Christmas. Christmas cookies are a part of Christmas. Okay, so now Ash is calling me over here. Now, I don't really know why he's calling me over here. Maybe he's trying to bring the charger. Listen, I got the charger right there for you. So let's be real here. Chargers. Chargers are the biggest thing in this art. It provides energy to the people, to your phone. All around is connect to the world, okay? Your phone has everything in it. If you're being real, like, you can message people, call people, you can access the internet. Internet is crazy, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm going to unplug this charger. I'm going to give it to Ashley Light. Thank you, sir. I love you. Anyways, let's continue on with it. Chargers. Energy. iPhones. It's crazy. You know, as it's ever expanding, the iPhone is actually charging to a USB C. Charger, which I think is personally crazy. Biggest thing, because we know uh, Apple CEO is just kind of a dickhead, okay? Right. He's always Get promoting down here and join lightning in. cables, okay? We don't really like lightning cables, because why? Because they're stupid. Every other phone runs off USB-C. Why would we t pick another charger that did doesn't run on any other did phone, you see okay? you iPhone getting a USB-C and iPhone 15? Yes, I did, sir. So, listen, let's also talk about the iPhone 15. The mute button. The mute button's totally going on. It's now called the action button, and personally, I think this is a good idea. Oh, uh, Tess, shut up. Anyways, I think this is a good idea, because you can customize what our button does. Test shut up. Anyway, listen to me. So now Kiki's actually telling us to look at her right now. Right? Shut up. It's really great. Kiki, that's number one supporter. Test shut up. Anyway, let's continue on with this, okay? So. Uh, it's theater. We love theater, right? Theater, it's great. Everyone's coming together, building a set. Okay, we all love it. We all love it. We really do love it, okay? But one of the most important things, I think, is crew. Okay? Run crew. It's what I'm doing across. What? Yapping session, okay? We've already got about a 10 minute yapping session, maybe a 5 minute yapping session, but let's just keep yapping, okay? Everybody yap it up. We love yapping, okay? Jackson, this is my man right here. Love him. Boom. Yaps. Let's right. bring it over to Ryan Fowler. He, I know he can yap. All right, we're gonna change it over to Ryan Fowler because I know he loves to yap. Ryan Fowler, go ahead, come over here. We're gonna do a yap session with you, my friend. Come here. Instead of a yap, whatever you do. You need to hear me out. All right, Ryan Fowler, I just wanna tell you, how do you feel about the new iPhone, the USB-C charger? Because I feel like they're changing a lot with it, and I feel like that it has a controversial opinion with the new USB-C and the new action button on the side of the iPhone. Let's hear it. You know, that's what, that's what I'm telling you. Man, is the new, the new iPhone 15, is the 15, is the 14, is the 13? I don't even know anymore. Kids these days in their phones. I just want to tell you. The new iPhone, all they did was they just changed the charger to a universal charger that's already existed on Android and Pixels and you name it. You know what I mean? You got a Samsung Hoot Nanny. It's got a USB-C charger in it. It's had a USB-C charger in it for a long time. Smart watches, they've had USB-C chargers. And now, all of a sudden, Apple's like, we're innovating by making a whole new iteration of their greatest product, the iPhone, that literally just includes a feature that has existed on every other piece of technology for thousands of years. You know, they always say, capitalism breeds innovation, but it really seems that the EU forcing Apple to adopt modern technology is really what bred innovation in this case. And you know, that's what I'm really saying here. Uh, it's been a great game out there. We All our guys have been out in the field, you know what I mean? They've been, they've been tackling them. They've been getting the ball. And I've seen a, I've seen a few, I've seen a few field goals shot out there. I've seen, I've, I've seen a few touchdowns out there. And you know, that's what I like to see. So, you know, some of them on the other team, some of them on this team. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. I'll back to you in the studio. Yeah. So I feel like that Apple with this new innovation is not really an innovation. Okay. I think it's just modern day technology. Personally, because the MacBook actually has a USB C charger in it. Why didn't they add this to the iPhones way earlier? I don't really know because personally, it's very wasteful. Okay. So let's be real here. You're giving ourselves a charger that is only accessible. Shut up. They're only accessible to iPhones. Why would you do that? Personally, I think that giving a universal charger is pretty great because it's just going to help everyone out. Because when I ask my uncle, who has a Samsung, hey, do you have a charger for me? He's like, nope, you got that lightning cable. My USB-C won't work. I feel like that's really inconvenient, especially in those stressful situations where you really need to charge your phone, but you only have access to a USB-C cable. But now they're telling me I need to upgrade to a new phone to get this USB-C feature. And personally, I feel like that is just stupid. Okay, why wouldn't they add this earlier? Because obviously they could have added it earlier because the MacBook and all their other Apple products have had a USB-C see except the portable devices like the iPad and iPhone. I feel like it's really silly that they're now adding it because the EU has added regulations where all of iPhones are required to use a universal charger. Hi Asher, how's it going man? What's up? Hi. How do you feel today? I was really good until right now. Why? Because I've heard you talk for way too long. 15 minutes now. Well, hey, let's be real here. I mean, talking is a really good feature, okay? Because if humans were allowed to talk or communicate, how would we talk or communicate, you know? We wouldn't really know the English language. We wouldn't know any languages at all. So, let's be for real here. Let's just get into the wider aspect of things. Let's go back to the world. Yes, of course. Because we love yapping here. We love the yapping session. We do have a broom, okay? Maybe the broom is somewhere here. It's over there. There is sawdust over there, and then that needs clean. 
What? Okay. Yeah. It's a vlog. Hi, vlog. I'm Evan Alexander. <laughs> Okay, I have to go. Yup, that's Evan right there. And Asher with the legendary burp. We love burping, okay? Burping is actually a feature that is widely used today because every- That's what I'm doing! I know. Why Chris? Why Chris? Why Chris? So, let's be real here. Let's pick up some trash. Let's actually be helpful to the cause. Because we do not want to let everyone else do everything. Because everything else is already done. Because we do not really underappreciated in this zone. Okay, so let's be real here. Look at all this nasty ass trash. We don't like that shit, okay? Look at this empty water bottle. Whose empty water bottle is this? We don't know. We don't know. It's still got water in it. Hey, hey, hey. No, it's not, sir. I drank all my water and threw my water bottle away. So let's be real here. Let's put it in an aspect of being wasteful, okay? We don't want to be wasteful, okay? This the world is already struggling for resources like water and food, okay? With the growing population, it's going to be harder to get these resources, especially with the American budget on farming and agriculture. There's a broom right there. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, because my voice is actually starting to hurt now and turning to talk, I'm going to actually have to end this yap session a little early. Tune in next time for a yap session. Love you guys. Bless you. Have a blessed day. Yap session 2023, baby!